Hey there Pisces, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your March uh, 19th through the 31st reading and I'm sorry they're late, um, but yeah, life happens. Um, as I was meditating on your energy, uh, Pisces, I was seeing the Page of Wands, the adventurer. Okay, so you may be going on some kind of adventure, you may be traveling, you may be actively pursuing um, maybe a dream, maybe a life purpose. Um, but I feel like you're on this journey, on this adventure of some kind of discovery. Okay, you may be just taking road trips or, you know, flying or, or you know, just doing traveling. But I feel like, you know, you're moving. There's a lot of movement around you. And um, I feel like, you know, you are being very assertive. You're moving forward in your situations in life, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the tarot. Let's get into more of this Pisces, okay? See what the tarot has to say. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords, the Two of Wands. Yeah, what did I say? Seeing the world. Hey, the Four of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. You're going from the Page to the King. Wow. And the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, Pisces, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like a lot of things are changing at the moment. There's some kind of good fortune coming in for you. Um, there's some kind of shift that's happening. And I feel like you're rolling with the punches here, you know. I feel like you, there's a lot of movement. There's, you know, good luck, good change coming in for you. Um, and I feel like it's, it's all for the better. Look at this. We have the Emperor and the ten of cups so i feel like you know you're actively taking control of your situation you are you know very happy at this moment looking for happiness looking for that security that love that joy you know and you're not letting down until you find that place where you belong where you're just happy and feeling alive and i feel like you know you are in pursuit you know i feel like you are you know you're going through these changes and good fortune is coming to you the end of march so if there's something that you have questions on i feel like those questions are being answered you just have to keep moving okay and i feel like with this four of swords this two of wands and the four of wands okay pisces i feel like you know you are you know, you you are trying to find a good place to relax, a good place to feel renewed, okay? You may be focusing on yourself right now. You may be resting up or, you know, uh, really taking care of yourself at this moment. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're in this recovery phase, okay? Um, you're recovering from something. But I do feel like there's some sort of blessings that are coming in for you. You see how she's holding that flower towards him while he's, you know, um, while he's lying there praying. I feel like there's some sort of blessing that's being offered to you. Okay. Um, so take notice. Be vigilant. Okay. Because I feel like there's a blessing that you're not seeing. Okay, Pisces. Now, I feel like, you know, this is, I feel like you may be making travel plans. You may be wanting to see the world, wanting to see new places, new, new things. And I feel like you are, you know, you, you're putting the plans in to put that into action. Um, if you are attached to someone, I feel like, you know, it's... The, the words that I'm getting is you and me against the world, you know. So I feel like if there's an attachment, I feel like it's very strong. Okay. If you're not attached to someone, there may be someone who is coming towards you at the end of this month. 
um, that you are going to feel that way with. Okay, because we have the Four of Wands. So there's reason for celebration. This also, in some instances, can mean marriage. Uh, but I feel like this is your happy place. This is a place where you can totally be yourself, totally be your authentic self, and not worry about what people think. Um, I'm also feeling like this is, you know, like your soul tribe, gathering with your soul tribe. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be a lot of celebration. There's going to be some kind of celebration and get together um, during this March period. It may be because, you know, your birthday just passed or your birthday is coming forward. You know, you are a Pisces. So, um, yeah, there's, there's celebration coming here. Okay, so there's going to be get togethers. Okay, with this Page of Pentacles and this King of Pentacles, wow, let's see. Okay, so something is being offered to you. There's some kind of offer on the table for you, Pisces. Someone is gifting you this opportunity. And I feel like, you know, you are down for whatever that they're offering, you know, because you feel like it's going to bring you a lot of stability, a lot of abundance. And I feel like this may be some kind of increase to where you're able to focus on more things that you love. You're able to focus on things that truly make you happy, truly overjoyed. This is a gift being offered to you. A gift of love, a gift of having the time to do the things that you enjoy. Okay, so like I said, if if you are open to love, I feel like love is coming. There's someone offering that cup to you. Someone's offering their heart to Pisces. Okay, if this isn't love, Pisces, I feel like this is something that is is going to be a a gift of something that you love to do something that you love to put your time into okay but this is a new beginning this is something being offered that you may not see at this moment and this is a very good offer this is something very valuable this is something that you definitely don't want to pass up because of these pinnacles i feel like this is an opportunity of a lifetime okay so i feel like that's something that you should really take notice of uh, Pisces because I feel like you're going through this time of change um, and good fortune is on your side with that will of fortune okay so your luck is changing let's go ahead and clarify these cards for Pisces let's get some clarification please <clears throat> okay there you are that's Pisces when I think of Pisces, I always think of the moon, you know, and that's beautiful energy because it means things are being revealed. Things that are hidden are being revealed. OK, um, with the four of swords, we have the moon card with the two of wands. We have another two. We have the two of swords and uh, with the look at this. I told you love with the four of wands. We have the king of cups. With the Page of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles. And with the King of Pentacles, we have the Five of Cups. With the um, Ace of Cups, we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Beautiful energy here. Okay. At the bottom, look what we have. The Ace of Pentacles. There's a new opportunity. This new opportunity is, is very big. It's going to bring in increase, abundance. Okay. Some this could be a new job. This could be a new career, new venture, something that you hold very valuable. You know, something that you're looking for that gives great value to your life. Okay. So I feel like, you know, what you may not be expecting is this, is this you know, offer transformation, change, great change coming through here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. This is great change and you're moving forward with it. Look at this, the King of Pentacles again. So what you're moving forward in, uh, what you're moving towards is great wealth. 
you know, some kind of great abundance coming in for you, feeling more stable, more grounded. You know, the king, he's a very loyal king. He likes to support the people around him. You know, he likes to spread his generosity. You know, he don't hold it close to him. He's not a greedy king. He likes to share the wealth, okay? So I feel like, you know, there's something being shared with you, okay? Okay, Pisces, with this Four of Swords and the Moon card, I feel like, you know, during this recovery period, there's a blessing being offered to you, and I feel like something is being revealed. What was now hidden, what was hidden is now being revealed, okay? So, um, I feel like, you know, there there's some kind of truths that are coming out for you, and I feel like, you know, you're making plans, for your life, for your situation. And I feel like there's great choices that you need to make. There's great decisions that need to be made in this in this time. You may be at a crossroads. You may have the choice between two paths. But I feel like Spirit is letting you know to choose wisely. Okay? Um, don't just tread lightly. Choose wisely when you're making choices okay um with the four of wands and the king of cups i feel like you know this is definitely some kind of love that's coming forward for you if this is already love that you are in i feel like you know you're moving to the next level there's going to be great celebration there may be marriage uh, but i feel like this king is bringing in a lot of love and support this could also be your card here pisces you know, being this water sign, uh, I feel like, you know, he, he has his feet immersed in this water. So I feel like the feelings are like great. The feelings are overflowing. He's just immersing his, his body in the waters of emotion. Okay. So I feel like, you know, you may be falling very hard for someone or someone may be falling very hard for you. You know, this is not just a crush. This is someone who is falling in love, okay? With this Page of Pentacles, I feel like there's definitely some kind of offer that's being provided, but I feel like it's an offer that has to have some kind of work done to it. This is an offer that needs to be actively worked on. It needs to be actively pursued, okay? So I feel like there's not going to be any time to waste because there's there's still things to do okay this offer may not be a complete offer it may need to be worked on okay so i feel like you need to take notice of that because i with this king of pentacles and the five of cups i feel like <clears throat> there may be several offers on the table okay there may be several offers but there's only going to be two that are going to bring you prosperity. Does that make sense? I feel like, you know, you are taking what opportunity is best and working with that opportunity and leaving the others behind. You're not working on all the opportunities at once or all the options or all, you know, everything at once. You're 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 prioritizing. You're trying new things. You're taking two things first and working on those two things to make them the best you can. And then maybe, just maybe, you'll pick up those cups and work on those as well. Okay? But I feel like, you know, if this is a project, if this is a career, I feel like it's bringing in increase. Okay? I feel like, you know, you, you may have a sudden loss in the beginning, but I feel like once that... Once you hit that impact, I feel like there's nothing but sky, okay? So, with this Ace of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, I feel like there's definitely some kind of lesson, some kind of love lesson that you're leaving behind. Um, but I feel like, you know, you are coming out of this space. Maybe you're coming out of your hermit mode, you know, to where, you know, you're spending a lot of time by yourself. You're feeling kind of left out. And now you're pursuing, 
what it is that you love to do. You know, you're pursuing this new beginning. But I feel like, you know, you're coming out of this feeling of, of lack, okay? Or you may have felt that you were lacking the love that you desire. And you're waiting for that one true love, okay? And I feel like, hey, there's someone falling for you, Pisces. So this may be that one true love. Because it's leading to celebration. So, hey, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's get an outcome for Pisces. Let's get an outcome for Pisces, please. There's that love. There we go. Six of Pentacles and the Lovers. So what is coming forward for you, Pisces, is going to be very balanced. There's someone who wants to give you an equal give and take. You know, this is very balanced love. This is someone who's not just to take things from you, but also to give equally. Okay, this may also be the universe providing you some kind of balance, some kind of recovery from something that you've lost. But I feel like this lovers that, like I said, I, I, I was just feeling like there's love here. And Pisces, definitely love is coming. Okay, you're moving towards more calmness, more serene, more peace. And you're, you're moving to a new situation, a new place. And I feel like once it starts going, you know, uh, Pisces, it, it's going to start moving fast. You know, all you have to do is get that ball rolling and it's going to start to snowball. Okay, I feel like this may also be you taking the initiative, taking action to find your happiness. Because, you know, you're just normally a very assertive person, Pisces. You're not one to sit and wait for something. You are actively pursuing something you're always on the move you're always going on a journey you like to travel so i feel like you know you are finding that happy place definitely so i'm loving this reading for you pisces because i feel like there's a lot of discovery there's a lot of passion um you are actively pursuing this love if you are in search of love i feel like love is coming towards you just be vigilant, you know, keep your eyes to the sky because I feel like this person is coming. And once they fall for you, Pisces, they're going to fall very hard and very deep. You know, you may actually be moving in together very soon, okay? Because you're definitely moving to this place of something better, something that is more positive. So I'm really loving this for you, Pisces. Okay, let's get some Moonology cards for Pisces. Let's see what Moonology has to say for Pisces. Okay, confidence is the key to your success. That is true. And I feel like, Pisces, you have all the confidence in the world because you see yourself as the star. Okay? And... A win-win outcome is in the forecast. So like I said, the wheel of fortune, the wheels are changing. You know, good fortune is in your forecast. It's coming around. Okay, you need to harness and take control of it. Okay, so we also have prosperity lies ahead. So there's something that's going to bring in more income, more money. Uh, some kind of abundance is coming in for you. We've seen that with the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So, let's get a Manifestation Moonology. Oh, okay. We have Speak Your World Into Being. Manifestation. There we go. This is Magician Energy. Uh, speak what you want into existence, Pisces. You know, don't speak negative talk. Keep negativity out of your mouth. And we also have reveal what needs to be seen. Okay? Look what we have on the bottom. 
There we go. More Leo energy. Shine. Have courage. Be fearless. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to get an angel card here. See what the angels have to say to Pisces. Let's get an angel card. Okay, we have big happy changes. Beautiful. I feel like there's definitely a lot of changes going on with you. We also have take action. Be assertive. You know, if you need to make the first move, just move, okay? Because it is up to you. You are the one that chooses your destiny. You are the one that makes things happen. And trust. Okay? Trust in the divine. The divine wants to lead you in the right direction. Okay, now Pisces, we're going to go ahead and take... Um, an angel number. See what angel number comes out for you. What angel number do we have for Pisces, please? What angel number do we have for Pisces? Okay. 19C transformation. What did I say? Okay, we have 1919. It is asked that you take notice that you hold within your hands the power to change your life. Within this realization, you will feel your sense of purpose, your connection to new beginnings. Beautiful. Okay, and your affirmation, I release what I no longer need to carry and I open myself to the transformative energy of the divine. Okay, 1919 is your number. Okay, and Pisces, that is your reading. I hope this helps. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. If this doesn't resonate all the way, make sure you take a look at your moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, and I have those in the March playlist. Until your next reading, Pisces, many blessings to you, love and light.